Hello, welcome to Grace Resolutions. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this cool birthday flyer in Photoshop. So if you're ready, let's dive right into the video. Alright, so these are the images that we'll be using for our design. So let's hop into Photoshop straight away. Alright, so for this design, we're going to be using a dimension of um, 8 inches by 8 inches. Okay, so I can give my project a title as birthday. Birthday design. And I change it to inches, so, so eight inches by eight inches. My pix, my resolution is three hundred, and um, okay, I want a white background on this. Though, though it doesn't matter, okay, but just leave that white. And then my color mode is RGB. Since I'm not going to print it, it's just for social media. Then I click create. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is to import our image or our background. So I go to file and click place embedded then i locate where the documents are my folder is the the files I want to use for this project okay it's right here okay okay import our background like so click okay okay so we are good to go then i'm going to import another background because for this process this design i'm using two backgrounds so let's go right to import the second background okay like this okay wait for that to come up and all right i click okay so i'm going to desaturate this background by pressing ctrl shift u okay then i'm going to change the blending mode to maybe something like soft light or overlay just tweak it to whichever one you okay i think a soft light soft light is okay something like this all right so i can reduce the opacity a bit just to all right this is okay something like so all right so i can group these items as my background so i select all the items and i go and i press ctrl g okay to group them so i can label this as my background Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is to import my image. Okay, so I go to click, I go to file, and then place embed, and I import my image. Okay, so I've already removed the background from my image. Okay, and then I change it to a smart object so that um, in case I resize it, it won't uh, become pixelated. So I come out to a smart object. Okay, so I can minimize it a bit, like so. Something like this. All right, then I go to I create a clipping. Sorry, I, I create a mask on my image. Okay, so I come down right here and I create a, a mask for my image. Then I pick my brush tool. Right, so I increase my brush size a little bit. Ensure it's a soft brush. Okay, ensure that it's a soft brush. And my color um, color what now? My color panel here is set to the foreground color is set to black. So I just brush off a bit of this, like so. Brush off the edges, something like this. Okay. All right, then I minimize. Okay, I bring it down a bit. Let me just take it up. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, okay, is to add my text. So I take my text to right here and I type the word birthday. Okay. Okay, I click, I drop my tool and enlarge it. Okay, now I'm using a font disclaimer. Okay, that's the font I'm using for this, and it's the classic. All right, so I expand it a bit, like so. Okay, let me bring the image a bit. I can, all right, then I increase my tracking by 50. Okay, let me take it by 25. I think 25 is okay. Then I bring my the birthday text right beneath the image. Okay, something like this. All right. Okay, let me reduce the tracking a bit to something like 10. Okay. I can go right ahead and increase, increase it. 
Okay, I can I can bring the image down a bit. All right, something like this. Um, okay, let me just add some effects to my text. So I right click and I go to my blending options, and then I give it uh, a bevel. Add some bevel. Oh, I don't want to texture. Okay, then I go for a drop shadow, and an outer glow. Okay, so just to make my text uh, a bit bold and uh, to make it stand out. Okay, I increase the distance of the eye of my drop shadow and the spread. Okay, I think this is okay. The outer glow, alright, I want a white color. No, I think a darker color is okay. Then I can increase it, increase the opacity. Then for my bevel, okay, I can increase the depth and also increase the size, okay, just a bit. Alright. Okay, then I click OK. Alright, so I'm sure you're having value from this video. If you are, please give this video a like, share the video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design and internet tips, tricks and tutorials, okay? Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add my happy at the top. So I pick my text tool again and type the word happy. Now for this, for this one, I'm going to use a simple, uh, let me use a different font. Let me go for a Montserrat. Okay, a Montserrat um, bold, something like so. Okay, then I take it up a bit right here. I can take it up a bit like uh, like so, and um, let me just okay. Let me go for a little bit of a lighter type face. Let me go for a semi bold. Okay, I think this is this is perfect. And then um, okay, let me increase the tracking a bit. So 25, okay. Then let me resize this text a bit more. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to drag in my little image right here. Okay. I'm going to drag this image right into Photoshop. Okay. So I drag and I bring it in like so, something like this. All right. Then I convert to a smart object. Okay, then I minimize it. Okay, I minimize it like this. All right, then I'm going to give it a gradient color effect. So I go to my blending options and I go to my gradient overlay. So I can choose a color combination of um, just something to that goes with the, with the what that will blend with the image and the background. So I, I chose um, this. So this is the color code color code right here. Um, F1 B E B F E7 okay and um, C A56 C8 okay so you can feel free to use those color codes okay so I click OK then I go right ahead and type the month okay so I go right ahead and type the month there so I take my text to and I go for type the word June June Okay, June. So I want to use the font autobiography. Okay. Okay, autobiography. I reduce the tracking to 50 and I bring it in right here. Okay. All right, then I change it to, let me see the darker color for this. Okay. Or uh, let, let me use a regular color. Let me just take, go to something a little bit bold. Uh, okay, let me go for a poppins. Something bold or semi bold rather. Okay. Uh, reduce the tracking to probably zero. Okay, I think th this is better. Then I duplicate my text by pressing Alt and dragging. And then I change this to 31st. All right, so I change this font to autobiography. All right, so I drag it in right here. Let me enlarge it a bit to the first. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add another text right here. So I'm going to add the name of the client right here. 
Okay, so I take my text once again and I type the word Kelechi. Okay. Alright, then I go for um, take, change it to a um, taken by Vulture. That's the font I'm using for this. Okay. And then I enlarge it. Let me change the color to something like um, a white. A white color for this. Okay. Something like so. Now I ensure that um, these two items they are on the same lines or the same region. Alright, so I'm going to change this color to something the a similar color to blend. I think I'll just go with this color right here. Okay, let me make it lighter. Okay, I think that's okay. Something like so. It's cool. So the color code for this is F4A6F0. So you can go right ahead and use that. And then I go to my ellipse tool right here. I take my ellipse tool and hold my shift key. Alright. Then I go for let me change the color of the ellipse to something like a lilac color. Okay, something like so. Uh, a darker shade of this. All right, and then I drag it right here. Okay, let me minimize it a bit. Okay. Then I take my text to once again. And I add type the word plus one. Then I change my fonts to um, a Poppins or a Montserrat. Okay, let me go for go with a Montserrat. Let me go with a Montserrat, and I go for a semi bold. Okay, sorry, I have to. Let me highlight the text first of all. And then I go change the typeface to a Montserrat or change the font type to a Montserrat. So I go for a semi bold. Alright, so I drag it down here. And then let me resize it a bit, something like this. Okay, nice and smooth. Alright, so I'm sure you're having value from this video. If you are, please give this video a like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. So thanks for supporting my channel, alright? So I, I, I'm going to select all these items and I'm going to adjust. Okay, no, I don't want that. Let me select these ones and okay, let me group them as the name of the client. So client, let me just say name, okay? Name of client, like so. So let me adjust it a bit. Alright, so let me adjust, take it up a bit, uh, something like this, okay, and I can resize it, okay, I think that's, that's nice, okay, so I'm going to add the word is right inside the ellipse that I just, that I just added here, so I'm, I'm going to duplicate this by pressing my alt key, clicking and drag, and I change the word to is, okay, is, okay, let me change the color to a white, all right, then I position it right on top of this ellipse, like so. Wow, so our design is coming together. This is really, really beautiful. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a little bit of glow to my design. Okay, so to do that, first of all, I'm going to create a layer. Okay, I come to the, the bottom of my Photoshop panel here and I click this plus. Sorry. Ctrl Z. Let me create the layer outside this folder. Okay, so I create a new layer and I label it as brush one. Brush one. All right. Then I pick my brush tool. Okay. Now let me reduce the size of the brush a bit. Ensure it's a soft brush. Okay. Ensure it's a soft brush. Then I go to my color picker, uh, my foreground color. Ensure that um, the color. Let me take a lighter color. Or something that would um, okay. Let me go for a lighter blue, something like this. Okay, then I just on the background, I just brush off like so. Okay, just add a little bit of glow like this, and I can position it my the, the glow to come right like this. Okay, so I can bring the glow right. Um, 
beside the image or beneath the image behind the image okay something like this so let me reduce it to something like this okay something like this so let me reduce the opacity slightly okay all right so i can go ahead and duplicate the glow so i right click on the glow layer or the brush layer and select duplicate layer and i name it as brush 2 all right like so then i bring it somewhere here okay i bring it somewhere here like this okay i think this is this is cool okay bring it somewhere here something like this okay so i'm sure you're loving this if you're having value from this video please give this video a like and share this video all right and please also support my channel by subscribing all right thank you very much all right so i'm going to still duplicate um this the brush effect a, a little bit so i hold my alt key or i right click and i select duplicate so i give this brush layer three all right then i take it up like so something like this okay take it up something like this just to bring at the middle right here okay i think this is this is nice let me let me reduce this uh, the opacity of this one a bit further all right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add my lens flare all right so to do that i go to file and um i go to or let me just go into my folder like so so this is the lens flare effect i'm going to add to my design so i right click and i select open in photoshop okay so i can minimize i can sorry i can enlarge it something like this okay something like so i can minimize i can sorry i can enlarge it okay something like this all right so okay just you can adjust it to any position that you deem fit okay and then i am going to brush off a part of it so let me first of all reduce the opacity like this okay then i create a mask okay let me let me create a mask mask for this and then change my foreground color to black take my brush too and let me just brush off part of this part of this um the lens flare effect okay okay then i can adjust it right here okay let me take my brush to once again and brush off the middle mm, all right so i think this is let me duplicate this let me duplicate the lens effect and um okay then i can bring another one right here all right so this is how you create a beautiful birthday design in photoshop so i'm sure you had value from this video so if there's any part of this tutorial that is not clear to you please leave your questions and comments in the comment section and i will attend to it as soon as possible so i'm sure you had value from this video if you did please give this video a like share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more amazing graphic design and internet tips tricks and tutorials so till i see you in my next video take care and stay safe